Yes, indeed, stress can make you go gray. The rates at which people go gray, meaning gray hair, or in some cases gray body hair as well, depend on some genetic factors. There's actually the, there are a couple ways that we can go gray. The, there's actually a stem cell, what they call niche in every follicle. So you have stem cells in the follicle that can produce more and more of the given hair cell. And they're actually peroxide groups. You know, we hear about bleaching hair with peroxide, at least in the eighties, that was a thing, but you can use hydrogen peroxide to bleach things and you can produce your own peroxide in the hair follicle that will cause the hairs to go gray. In addition, pigmentation of hair, just like pigmentation of skin is controlled by melanocytes our old friends, the melanocytes. And I say old friends because on previous episodes, I talked about why sunlight and getting ample sunlight can increase levels of certain things like melanocyte stimulating hormone, which reduce hunger. It can improve testosterone and estrogen levels and all the reasons for that. Well, it turns out that activation of the so-called sympathetic nervous system, which is really just another name for the system that liberates adrenaline from the adrenals and epinephrine in the brain, drives depletion of melanocytes in hair stem cells. So indeed, there's a rate of aging that we will undergo based on our genetics, but stress will make us go gray. And the paper that you should look to if you want to read more about this came out very recently. This is Zhang et al., Z-H-A-N-G et al., Nature, fabulous journal, definitely one of the apex journals, 2020. So this paper showed that the activation of stress in various forms will deplete these melanocyte stem cells. You do not have to worry about an ice bath or hard exercise or breathing, increasing your levels of stress to the point where it's going to make you go gray. We're talking again about chronic stress. And if you want to offset the stress effects on graying of hair, you can do that by either having a practice that helps you regulate stress on a consistent basis. So something like non-sleep deep rest or meditation You can get access to massages or vacations. Those are great. But having a practice to keep stress clamped so that it's not chronically elevated, that will be great. As well, this is another case where sunlight, we know, stimulates melanocytes, not just in skin, but in hair. And so getting ample sunlight, having a practice to regulate stress will offset the stress-induced graying of hairs by way of stress-induced depletion of melanocytes. And if melanocyte sounds a lot like melanin, you're right. That's because anything involved with pigmentation in the brain and body generally has melano in the front of the word in some way or another.